Hey there, chat. How you doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Ruin. I run the place. Did you miss me? I bet you missed me. <laughs> Welcome back to Chrono Trigger. How you guys doing? I'm sorry I couldn't keep the straight face. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, welcome back to Chrono Trigger. How are you guys doing? Um, we are running around the, uh, the, the end of time here, and, uh, when we last left off, we battled Azala and the Black Tyranno at the end of Tyranno Lair, and whooped up upon it, and like, yeah, it was so cool! And then, we came over here, and we battled Specchio, and whooped up upon him, and we were like, yeah, it was so cool! And then, we went, uh, back to, uh, to, to, to the day of Lavos, and fought there and got her teeth kicked in. We're like, oh, we're not cool anymore. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, I'm actually going to take Luca and bring her in. Uh, not there. There we go. You need my brain power? Yeah. Ah, uh, the original victory sound is just Luca's music. Yeah. All right. Um, and we got to hear the first of the very cool soundtracks biting the Black Tyranno. That was so great. Yeah. But the, I love the trumpet boss sounds, uh, especially just the opening is really good. Ba, 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 ba. Earthbound Isle. All right. So we left off, we came and popped out here and we were like, what is this place? And we go outside and Azalea's future has come true and has remained true for nearly 65 million years. We are in 12,000 BC. We are in an ice age that has lasted that long because of the impact of Lavos. And so, what are we going to do? We just moseying around here, trying to figure out where to go and what to do. It's like, cold. It's cold. <laughs> I don't. Terra Cave. Wait a minute. Hmm. Interesting. Yes? Yeah. I mean... I mean, do you see... Do you see... Do you see what's, what's, what's up there? What is that? Mm -hmm. Fascinating. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> um, what else is around here? Not much. Oh, what's that? Oh, hello. Skyway. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Guess I didn't know this somewhere. was a thing. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> and Hysia. Oh, wow. Oh. -ho. This feels like Harry Potter now. Welcome to Enhanza, Queen Zeal City of Dreams. And Haza, we seek enlightenment with the bliss of sleep. You are not of us, are you? Well, do you recognize this? Yeah, I think so. Yeah? This is the magic kingdom of zeal, where dreams can be made reality. But nothing in this world comes free. There is always a price to be paid. Oh, wow. That was uh, one of the Masamune boss fight brothers. Oh, right. You are most unusual visitors. I am waking, or is this but a continuation of my dream? Or am I waking, or is this but a continuation of my dream? Regardless of that, I welcome you to Zeal. Her Majesty Queen Zeal rules this magic kingdom. She is without peer in beauty or grace. We owe our prosperity to Her Majesty the Queen. After the King died, she encouraged the development of our kingdom's magical prowess, which has led to great advancements in Oh. Aha, the water book. And we found the fire book. The world you see with your eyes may well differ completely from the one I see with mine. There are as many different worlds as there are observers. Never assume that only two things which can see or touch are real. Truth exists in dreams. The world exists in me. Such a weirdo, eh, Guinevere? 
The city of Kajar, the high seat of magical research, lies on the edge of the western continent. The airship the Blackbird is maintained there as well. Oh, cute cat. Mm-hmm. Boy. Hey, what's wrong? Have you something to say? What a weird kid. What's wrong with him? The Black Winds Howl. One among you will shortly perish. Oh, God. Hey, what do you mean? What? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Chrono? That kid is kind of creepy. Sure was. It's only a bad joke. Prophecy is a com completely unscientific. This is a font of recovery. Rest your wearied mind and body within, traveler. I wonder what's within the Northern Shrine. No doubt the key to unlock its seal is held at the palace, but entry there is strictly forbidden in the name of Her Majesty the Queen. Ah, the Wind Book. The Queen's Palace sits at the heart of our kingdom. She watches over all the world from its high vantage point. It's because of that we can sleep our days away in peace. <sighs> I am Doreen. Seek the hidden path and open the doors of knowledge, each in turn. The Queen has sealed away the great elemental weapons and armors forged with the power of the sun in the shrine to the north. You can see its entrance to the northern continent, but no one is allowed to go inside it now. Hmm. Welcome! Have you come to do business? Uh, we need to buy some shelters, actually. Yeah. We have so much. Uh, we should probably buy some high potions, like five. Yeah, for emergencies. Panaceas, nice sometimes. Um, Aether War and pretty good equipped. The door to the Northern Shrine is sealed by a powerful force. Even we, the Enlightened Ones, lack the means to open it. Wow, Ayla's damage looks like the highest. <laughs> uh... Her damage does? When you clicked on the shopkeeper and clicked buy... Oh, really? It shows, like, their stats at the bottom. Oh, yeah. No, she punches. She punch. She's strong. She's strong. <laughs> She's a beefy lady. <laughs> Where to now? Um, I guess we move on. Let's see. Oh, and these books close back up. There is some kind of thing about which order you open the books in. Really? Yeah, and I don't know. I cannot remember how it goes or where the clue is to tell you. What order you're supposed to open these three books in to make something happen? It's like a secret thing? Yeah. Yeah, it's some kind of, like, not super secret thing, but yeah. Oh, wait. Hello. What's this doll doing here? Do you believe in such things as fate? Do you think it's possible our lives are predetermined? Well. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> so you're a believer too. Yes, perhaps it is arrogant to think ourselves strong enough to overturn destiny. Yes, it is, isn't it? We are the masters of our own destinies. Speaking of which, I believe there may be a doorway of destiny in this very place. That's none of your business. Your business. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he says nothing. <laughs> Well, dang it. He's like, how rude. Right, so there's a doorway of destiny somewhere in here. Dag Nabbit, I think it's 
behind this bookshelf or something like that. Um, uh, one of these things was supposed to tell us how to open the books. this. Can't look at that either. Alright. Uh, that's that. Mm, Alright. I cannot remember what to do here. So, we'll just go on with okay. the story a little bit. Sure. Land bridge, land bridge. somewhere else now? Yep. We went down a different land bridge. Ah. Oh, another skyway. Uh-huh. I cannot remember if we should have gone in Terra Cave earlier. I know we can go there later, and we have to. Mm-hmm. Ooh. That's pretty. Mm-hmm. What's in here? Cave. Oh! Man, I cannot remember what's all supposed to be going on here. Oh. Okay. I think that takes us all the way up to the palace, and we don't want to go there yet. I think. Okay. I mean, I, just, I, I, I am so lost in the Kingdom of Zeal. <laughs> it's like, alright. <laughs> Kejar. Wow. Hot gargoyles. <laughs> Gurgles. Yes. <laughs> Gargirls. <laughs> uh, this is the magic city of Kajar. We perform research in the magical arts to help further Her Majesty's plans to deliver our kingdom even greater glory. Your power differs from ours. It's difficult to describe, but in you I sense a strange kindness. In ancient times, people crafted wondrous weapons and armor by combining shards of rainbow-colored shell with the sunstone's power. But now only the Guru of Life knows the art of crafting such things. And even in others, if others did, the Queen has ordered us to abandon use of the sun's power. Ah, such beauteous contentment there is in a newly blossomed bud. Would that I could be a flower. This is Font of Recovery, yes. And that's the Sun Temple which you see on the Southern Sky Isle. The Sunstone, once our primary source of power, was enshrined there. However, the temple was sealed up along with the Northern Shrine once we turned to our new energy source. The Queen claimed we'd no need for the energy of the tired old sun. Oh. Oh, hello! <laughs> that blueberry thingy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, cool. Awesome uh, shot. Yeah, no weapons or armor, though. I have platinum armor, too, but I need Her Majesty's permission to sell it. Uh, cool. He goes back to sleep. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's a sleepy sheepy. My, you've been unusual aura. You must possess the gift, too. Yours seems very primitive compared to ours, though. You poor thing. Oh. He's talking about magic. How is it that we can came to have the powers we do? Why do some possess the gift while others lack it? It's a conundrum. Her Majesty Queen Zeal has two children, Lady Shala and Lord Janus. Lady Shala is an incredible child with extraordinary magical powers. With such a gift, her life must be ease and luxury. Those lacking magic are known as the Earthbound Ones. They have always lived beneath the clouds. 
If it's only fitting, after all, they lack our talents. The structure you can see deep beneath the waves below is the Ocean Palace, a symbol of our Queen's greatness. The palace is the be beacon of light which will guide us to the bright future. All praise the great and wondrous Queen Zeal. The Earthbound Ones are being allowed to work on the construction of the Ocean Palace. It seems even they have their purpose. The construction of the Ocean Palace has fallen behind schedule. An everlasting palace beneath the waves. It'll be a sight to see when it's finished. Behold, that our window is the great... That, uh, that out the window is the great blackbird, built by Balthazar, the guru of reason. To see it soar across the sky, you'd think it's alive, but the guru is a genius. The gurus of life, time, and reason dwell within zeal, and their knowledge and skill is without equal. Oh, I should pass some of these around here. <laughs> sure. Let's see. Here, uh, I'll grab this one, and then uh, and then we'll hand you the, guy, the next person here. Zeal's progress stems from our new energy source. Its power far surpasses that of the sun's elemental energy. Yep. Yeah. I heard a strange prophet has come to the palace. I do not know the details, but I heard he has powers most uncanny. doesn't talk to us? <laughs> Apparently not. Oh, that capsule's not been completed yet. Too bad, eh? <laughs> I've been working to fashion a capsule that will enhance one's magical skill. But my precious products have been disappearing in recent days. It must be that naughty new that took them. Do they so love pranks? He's no doubt hidden them all about. How can I work like this? And this explains why you find magic capsules all over space and time in the future. Oh. <laughs> Any time after this, you find magic capsules everywhere. And, uh, and, and this guy is explaining it like that. <laughs> is that this little blue new here just yoinked them and just hid them all over the earth and they lasted <laughs> there for thousands of years. <laughs> I heard Lady Shala's powers far surpassed those of her mother. Then there's her brother, young Lord Janus. He's of royal blood as well, of course, but doesn't seem to have the faintest trace of magical ability. Hmm. Here we go. A guru once told me that the Sunstone once held all the nearly infinite energy of our sun. Over time, that energy was slowly depleted, and it turned into the Lightness Moonstone. All right. Know this, Traveler. The Moonstone could be restored to glorious Sunstone if left to bask in the sun's warm light. But such would require aeons. None of us will ever witness that glorious glow again. Hmm. Oh my, we have this problem and it can't be solved because of time. Hmm. <laughs> Water summons wind, wind makes fire dance. Okay, good, 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 good. We now know the answer. Water, wind, fire. All right. What are you? Nope. Is there a water book in here? Water summons wind. Where's the wind book? And wind makes fire dance. Yeah! Yay! Obtained an unidentified op- an unidentifiable object. But inside is a black gemstone! Yay! Ooh. It all began aeons ago, when man's ancestors stumbled upon a shard of strange red rock. Its power was beyond human comprehension. It cultivated dreams and gave birth to love and hate. Only time will tell how it ends. All right, What's black gemstone? gemstone. What was that?
There it is. Enables Eternal Darkness Triple Tech. Ooh. Cool. Can I use it? Uh, I don't think we can. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, but this does mean we need to go back. I hope you are highly entertained by my song and dance. While we time. rush back across the plains here. <laughs> it's all the time. <laughs> you idiot. Alright, here we go. Everyone, please be distracted. <laughs> Don't notice that we're taking too long to do things because we're doing everything all at once and not skipping stuff. And hey, it's yeah. All right. Uh, water summons wind. Water, I think, was over here. No, this is wind, I think. It's wind. All right. This will be water. Water summons wind. And wind makes fire dance. Yeah! Ooh. A new... Ah! The <laughs> ghoul of Reese was gone. Do you want to challenge me? Yes. <laughs> All right, prepare yourselves. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, yes. I wish I had brought Frog here now. Because <laughs> uh, we could hit all of them. We do love Frog. Yeah. Because he's got he's got full oh. range of... Oh! Yeah, they hit uh, hard. Yeah. Oh, they can't kill you, though, with that. Okay. They don't kill you with that, at least. Yeah. That's fair. As long as you have more than one HP, I guess you can't die from that. Well, they they did zero HP last time. True. All right. All right. Um. Oh, nuts. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's like a 50-50 chance of getting hit one of one HP once uh -huh. you've hit that point. Okay. Good. Yeah! Ooh. The odds are <laughs> ever in our favor. Yes. So they have two choices. One is it will hit you and bring you down to nothing. Um, or one is it will bring you down to one HP and one is it will simply do one HP. Um, mm -hmm. So... They can either do one or they will bring you to one. And so you, they, their goal is to use the one that brings you to one and then use the one that does one. Yeah. All right. Yay. Yay. One blueberry left. One blueberry. Ow. <laughs> Yay. Yay. 744 experience, 90 tech points. You're strong. Take this. Obtained magic capsule. Obtained speed capsule. You. <laughs> <laughs> the Mystery of Life, Volume 7, 841, Chapter 26. All life begins and ends with new. This is the undeniable truth because I believe it to be so, at least for the present. 
Yeah, this whole happen. city is just about... It's just, like, basically... Like, elite people sniffing their own farts taken to its extreme. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I see. Where to now? Uh, I guess we'll go on. You want to use the capsules, by the way? Uh, oh, yeah, you're right. We should. <laughs> There's no good in our inventory. Uh, let's see. Where do you think the magic capsule should go? Um, actually... Hmm. We've been using Chrono a lot for the lightning recently. Yeah. And we definitely want Marley to be sped up. I agree, yeah. So she can give everyone else speed with her haste. Yep. That works. Yep, okay. I was also thinking, should we also, um... Uh, should we... Uh, save it and put somebody else in the party and shove the capsule down their throat? Well... <laughs> Guess next time. Yep. All right, up we go. We. Mm-hmm. Why are you here? All is well with the blackbird, I presume. Oh, sorry. All is well with the blackbird, I presume. She is true, fully operational, Lord Dalton. Of course she is, you blundering idiots. Were she not, we'd all be in trouble. You? What are you doing here? <laughs> hmm, those clothes. You must be the ones the peer prophet said would come to interfere. I think I shall watch for the time being and see how he he plays his hand. Oh, 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 oh not that I suspect he'll tip his card so easily. Ha! Huh? <laughs> it's quite pompous. <laughs> yeah, the blackbird's a symbol of Seal's advancement. All right, up where do we go? Top of the cave. Yeah. We have now entered both of those rooms, got all the junk out of them. Zeal's Palace. This is the Queen's Palace and the center of the Magic Kingdom of Zeal. Which is to say, this is the center of the universe. Do you like the new? Me? Yeah. Okay. Oh, Itchy, could you scratch my back? Yeah! Oh, wonderful! We love the scratches his back! Ooh, oh, right there, you got it. <laughs> ah. Whew, thank you. Discover the <laughs> news scratching spot. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I love that in this in this this world of overly self-important snobs and all this stupid highfalutin language, we get that interaction. Yeah. <laughs> that man appeared only recently, but he's earned the Queen's trust quickly with his startlingly accurate predictions. His origins are a mystery. He's not one of us enlightened ones. But nor is he an earthbound one. From where could such a man have come? Here, let me uh, give you a couple of... Oh, they're downstairs. We can't even reach them. Oh. Here, I'll give you this one. Were you aware that Balthasar, the guru of reason, maintains secret chambers in Enhasa and Kejar? Yes. We opened up the books to get to both of them. <laughs> Thanks for the reminder. You'd do best to speak to the Queen of the Gurus if you wish to learn of the Mammon Machine and the Ocean Palace. But just between you and I, I'd not place much faith in any answers Her Majesty gave you right now. She's been... different as of late. The 
the Queen's two children, Lady Shala and Lord Janos, are getting along so well. If only long your Janos would open up to others. Here. That pendant of yours? It looks like Lady Shala's, but it doesn't glow like hers. I can't open the book? Okay. The source of our energy rests deep below the sea. Once its exact location was determined, we began constructing the Ocean Palace there. The portal to the, the ocean... Oh, see, so yeah, I quit. Oh, right. <laughs> the portal to the Ocean Palace is in Her Majesty's audience chamber. Mind you, it hasn't been completed yet. That wandering prophet is amazing. Every prophecy to escape his lips has come to pass. It is though he already knows the events to come. Unnerving, is it not? Even Belsazar, who designed the Blackbird, the Ocean Palace has vanished. How strange that the three gurus who guided zeal to its present glory have all disappeared at once. Here you go. They say that Gaspar, the guru of time, continues his work on some deserted island. He strives to make a time egg or some such nonsense, but no one has seen him for years. <laughs> this way leads to the Mammon Machine Chamber. Oh. <laughs> okay. The Prophet's aura is clouded with hatred and sorrow. If he does not free himself of those emotions, he'll destroy himself and those he loves along with him. More hot gargoyles. Beyond lies the Mammon Machine Chamber. You can feel the glorious energy of Lavo surging from it. Hmm. <laughs> The Mammon Machine? You came to see it? Yeah! I thought as much. Can you feel the flow of the mighty Lavos' power? Oh, it brings tears to my eyes. Oh, wow. I believe these ones are yours too. Okay. This is the font of Zeal's power, the Mammon Machine. It draws and magnifies the limitless power of Lavos. Yeah. If the Mammon Machine is moved to the Ocean Palace, we can extract even more energy from Lavos. The dream of eternal life will be made possible. Oh, Almighty Queen, our kingdom will regain, reign for all eternity. Operating the Mammon Machine requires magic powerful enough to regulate the energy the machine extracts. Accepting the Gurus, Lady Shala is the only one with such power. The three Gurus constructed the Mammon Machine from a reddish stone that had been kept in the Royal Treasury for generations. The Guru of Life, Melchior, was in charge of the plants and conducted a great deal of research on the nature of Lavos. But now, well, I'm sure you know the rest. Ah, a red stone that had been kept for generations. Also, it seems that our certain sword was made out of the redstone kept for generations, if you remember. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a dreamstone we got from the ancient, ancient times. Yeah. Melchior, the cure of life, uh, opposed the queen's plans and disappeared shortly thereafter. It pains me to consider some conspiracy may be at work, but it's terribly suspicious. When the Mammon Machine was finished, the Queen became a different person almost overnight. A much colder one. Just between us, I heard that any who oppose Her Majesty, and not just the Earthbound ones, vanish and are never heard from again. Hmm. We can't Maybe. do anything with the machine right now. Uh huh. <laughs> Those guys would have blocked us off, but we just walk behind them. <laughs> I wonder how the Guru of Life is doing. What are we supposed to do without him? Humans, I tell you. 
Yeah, you can be the other Dobby. I want to be the wind, Masa. Oh, you will someday, if you try hard enough. Our big sister, Doreen, went to Anhasa again. Yeah, she likes to dream. I like the wind better than dreams. Whoosh! In case you didn't pick that up, you called him Masa. These two are Masa and Mune. Yes. Well, they're doing well. <laughs> yep. The queen must have borne a great deal of pain and sorrow in silence. Progress requires equal sacrifice. Much must have been given to allow zeal to attain the glory it knows now. L oh, oh yeah, I forgot the news are you. <laughs> this way will take you to the bed chambers. Bed chambers. Yes. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> I wanted health. <laughs> oh, I didn't want magic health. I wanted bed health. Oh, I haven't had an inn in so long. Lady Shala's pendant was made from the same redstone as the Mammon machine. When she prays to the device, the pendant glows with an unearthly light. Shala, or actually, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take, uh, I'll take Janice. Shala, or, oh, I'll take Janice. Do you want to take Shala? Okay. Okay. Shala. Oh, Janice, you've returned. Is something wrong? The black winds. You feel the foreboding too? Don't worry, it will be all right. Here, keep this close. What is it? It's an amulet containing my prayers. If something should happen, it will keep you safe. I wish that I could remain with you always, but Mother has other plans. That's not our mother. She looks like her, but she's not the same inside. Even still, forgive me, Janice. Pardons, your highness. Oh, sorry. Oh, girl. <laughs> the queen requests your immediate presence at the Potion Palace. Very well. Well then, Janice. I must be on my way. Oh. Who might you be? Forgive me, my lady, but we must hurry. If we're late, I fear I'll be... Uh, you know the queen. Of course, my apologies. She's pretty. Yeah. Go away. <laughs> now, just let me sleep in your sister's bed real quick. <laughs> Dang it! I <laughs> <laughs> uh, wanted to sleep in the bed and get health. Can we talk to the kitty? Oh, it's still warm. <laughs> uh, let's see. Don't waste your time. Alpha Door only likes me. Oh. oh. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Where to next? Oh, actually, we can't go that way. That's not a walkway. This is the walkway. Beings that are born of dream must always return to them in the end. But at times people's dreams are, and prayers call upon the power of Lavos and are made reality. Alright, uh... Me to snack around here. Come over here, come over here. And up into the palace. Ooh. Amulet. Mm-hmm. Interesting. It's a key. Mm-hmm. You remember that sprite? Um... Is it the one from the beginning? Yeah! Huh. <laughs> her Majesty said she had business at the Ocean Palace. None may pass until her return. 
Your pendant, it looks identical to Lady Shala's. I heard that when Lady Shala communes with the Mammon Machine, her pendant glows with a strange light. That door cannot be opened from the outside, save with a powerful magic key like Lady Shala's pendant. Your pendant, it looks identical to Lady Shala's. Yeah, <laughs> so they both are like, look, go to the machine now. We have told you the phrase. <laughs> And also, before, uh, this way leads to the Mem Machine Chamber. Before, he'll just be sleeping, and you can't actually, like, get by until mm -hmm. you learn the new scratchy spot. <laughs> and then you can oh. get by. <laughs> okay. Ooh. There we go. And now... Our pendant has been powered up. And lo and behold, now you remember this symbol here? You probably remember this combination of colors and symbols and whatnot, right? Uh, not really. Mmm. Remember those boxes? Oh, the ones that you couldn't open? Open with a mysterious force. Oh, yes. It's on those boxes. Okay, so the pendant is the key. The pendant is the key, and we have gone back to the past to power it up from its original power source. Uh -huh. We did it! And those boxes have existed since this time, just unopenable, because their magic is too strong. Ooh. Heh heh! No door can bar the weight of scientific progress! It's hacking magic, Luca. <laughs> 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 she won't admit it. Mm -hmm. Who are you? How did you get in here? Or actually, hmm. Alright, this is a question, because Queen is going to be a main character. Uh, or, or a very prominent character. Do you want to have the Queen? Or, oh, you, uh, can, you can be Queen, I like Shala. Okay. Alright, <laughs> I'll be Queen, you can be Shala. Uh, and then, I guess, I will be Dalton, the guy on the right. I've already done his pompous voice! And you can pick whatever you voice you want for the fellow on the left here. For our prophet. Okay, sure. So we'll both have two and two out of this cadre. Okay. All right. Who are you? Well, how did you get in here? Your Majesty, these are the bringers of disaster of whom I spoke. Indeed, they and the gurus alike. How dare you outlanders attempt to oppose me? Fools! One and all. Dalton, seize them! Yes, Your Majesty, with pleasure. <laughs> Golem! Oh my. Oh, wow. It took me a while to, like, figure out what I'm looking at. <laughs> mm -hmm. It has a mouth and eyes on the stomach, and then an actual face on top. Yep. It looks like an, another eye in the middle. That's weird. Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm just realizing now you are dying. Yeah, I forgot to heal after the battle with the news that take you down to 1 HP. Oh. I think, um, Marley's single target heal is more. Yeah, it it, it does. Uh, we would probably use her. Um, I could use the barrier sphere to protect against fire. Yeah. If you think you need it. There we go. I should probably haste as well. Yeah. Did you use the Hypno Wave again? Yep. Ah, oh, we put oh. it to sleep. Yeah! Now we can just haste. This is perfect. At act I can't believe that worked. I also cannot believe that worked. <laughs> Hypno almost never works on the boss. Yeah. But now that he's asleep, we can just haste all we want, because he will be asleep until we punch him. Ah. Or, there, I think there is a certain amount of time that he'll eventually wake up, 
But yeah. if you hit him, he instantly wakes up. Yes. Yay. Yeah. Time to kablam him. Uh, let's just max out our HP first real quick. Sure. What's the strongest thing you got? I think one of my sword techniques is probably it. Either that or the Antipode Bomb. Let's try it out. Ooh. Ooh. So, Marley and Luca don't have a, an attack together? They or do. The Antipode Bomb, right? Yeah, that's the only oh. one they've got. Yeah, his ice attack is not very strong, so that's good. Mm -hmm. And I think his big thing is is that he his first attack with a type will be uh, well oh it's shadow. The antipathy bomb is a shadow attack. Mm. Um, so his first attack will be a weak form of an attack, and his second attack will be a stronger one. Oh yikes! We should oh change his <laughs> we should change his attack type back to ice. Oh, there we nice. go. And wow, he fell asleep again. again. It worked again. Yo. <laughs> Spin and heal. Yeah. Man, and their haste makes it so fast. Yeah. Oh, it's ridiculous. Oh, wait. I shouldn't have, uh... Shouldn't be, uh... Don't give him shadow tech, because he'll do yeah. laser spin. I meant to do Aura Whirl. And Napalm. How about Ice Sword? Uh, that's probably a good idea, actually. Man, he hits so hard! Oh, that's so good. Yeah. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Whoops. Alright, we'll just switch him to physical. There we go. That does oh, wow, half HP. A lot. <laughs> yeah, it does half HP every time. Okay. Alright, he did not fall asleep that time. Woof! Blur, Mimic Dalton. Oh. Alright, we killed him. Yay. Earned a thousand XP. You don't actually... that That's not a... A guarantee fight. Learn Protect. Ooh. Yay! Not a guaranteed fight. Yeah. Oh, my poor golem! You'll pay for that! <laughs> Fear not. I won't kill you. Not immediately, that is. I'll allow you to sample every type of pain and fear imaginable first. By the time we're through, you'll be begging us to end your suffering. What a delicious diversion! <laughs> yeah, so you can lose that fight and the same thing happens. But you don't get the thousand XP and all the TP and stuff like that. Right. <laughs> Idiots. What do you do? What will you do, Shala? Let us help them. I don't think it'll be of any use. And you'll be in trouble if you let them escape. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. And they just might be able to rescue Melchior. Huh. That was a name. Yeah. Are you alright? Quickly, you must flee the palace. And if you can, please, free the Guru of Life. 
He was sent to the Mountain of Woe for opposing my mother's plan. Please, you must help him. Uh, this is you. This is the Prophet. Oh, I'm afraid I cannot allow that. Good memory. <laughs> Your meddling tires me. It seems I'll need to put an end to you here. No, you mustn't. Don't! Oh? You can't. Hmm. <laughs> Very well. I'll spare their lives. But in return, you will cooperate with me, Shala. Now, show me how it is you came here. Hmm. So you came through here. Now, Shala, once I throw them in, you will seal the portal shut. N no, you can't make me. You will obey me. Their lives are at stake. I... very well. Magic. Magic! Please forgive me. God, hucked us through the portal. <laughs> he made us leave. He made us leave. Why did the prophet let us go? The key to defending- to feeding Lavos must lie in that period. Wait a minute, the design from the door had pendant opened. I've seen it other places. A curious crest is engraved here, and a mysterious force seals it shut. Yes. Let's get, let's check it out, Chrono. Yeah, so if you haven't caught on yet, by then, they also play the music, and you're just like, wait a minute, wait, wait a, wait a minute. <laughs> the musical cue is what got me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alrighty, well, so yeah, there's that, and we're almost an hour in, goodness gracious, guys. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm you fine. better call it. Now, thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you had a lovely time. Please give me a like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz, because I love to hear from you. And, uh, oh, man. Are you so excited, guys? We're making such progress. Yeah, so excited. We're, we're learning and unraveling all the things and also getting more questions to go with our answers. Ooh. Yeah. Wild. Anywho, I better let you guys go because we are, we are running late. But I shall see you all next week. We're going to have loads of fun. We're going to start wrapping up the game. It's going to be great. But I shall see you all in the not too distant future. I know you're going to miss me, but try not to miss me too much, okay? Bye. Bye-bye.